Kamusta na mga kaadik? Here's another quick and clear tutorial. This time, I will show you how to install or wire a thumb throttle with key ignition switch and voltage display. As you can see, it has 5 wires. The black, green, red are the throttle wires. The blue and the yellow wires are the key ignition switch wires. And of course, I will be using a 48 volts 500 watts controller for this tutorial. The motor face wires and the whole sensor wires are finally connected. These two wires is for the battery to supply power into the controller. The red wire is the positive line and the black wire is the negative line. This thin one is the lock wire also called as switch wire. This is an extension wire. I will be extending the output port of my 48 volt scooter all the way out to have better access while doing this tutorial. Let's start! Connect together the controller positive line terminal and the battery positive terminal. And do the same with the controller negative line and the battery negative terminals. At this moment, I haven't connected yet the extension wire to the battery. I'm trying to be more cautious just to avoid any unwanted matters. Remember that lithium batteries are prone of catching fires. Once all the wires are set, then that's the time I will connect or plug the extension wire to the battery output port. Always be cautious when working with the batteries because it's too dangerous. While connecting and installing all the terminals, make sure all nuts are tight enough. The battery extension wire is now connected to the controller. Now it's time to connect the thumb throttle with key ignition switch to the controller. For those who are looking for this type of throttle, I put the link in the description. I actually got this from Amazon. You can also check the other links in the description. These are the wire of the throttle with key ignition switch. The red, green, and black are the throttle wires that will be connected to the controller throttle wires. Red is positive 5 volts, black is the ground, and the green wire is the signal. While these two wires, yellow and blue, are the key ignition switch wires. These are the throttle wires of the controller. Usually, these are color black, green, and red. I also made extension wires with connector that stick out and expose the throttle wires so that I could easily connect the throttle kit during this tutorial. Red to red, green to green, black to black. Time to link the wires. Remember that these three wires are the throttle line wires. All you have to do is to match the color. Black to black, red to red, and green to green. Take note, when it comes to throttle wires, the black is always for the black wire and the red wire is always for the red wire because some of the throttle kit has different color of signal wire, like this one in the photo. As you can see, it has color white signal wire. Key ignition wires are next, the yellow wire is for the battery positive line connected to the controller positive terminal. And the blue wire is for the switch wire or lock wire of the controller. Now that all wires are set, it's time to connect the extension wire to the battery output port of my 48 volts electric scooter. As you can see the voltage of the battery is being displayed and the throttle is working properly. The key ignition switch activates and deactivates the controller. If in case you have any confusion, just simply follow the diagram. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing all my videos. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat. Muli kayong naligaw sa channel ko. Ride safe lang palagi, mga ka -addict.